Hey friends, my name is Serena and welcome to Honeycomb Harvest. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install your plastic foundations to your plastic apame frames. For me, when I first started using my frames, I wanted to make sure I was gentle enough because they are plastic that I didn't end up cracking one or breaking one. So I will share with you my tips and tricks on how to get the plastic frames open and just um, showing you from start to finish how I install them. So let's get started. We have one of our plastic apame frames here and what I have noticed that it's easier to open it either on this long side or this long side. Uh, so basically you just stick your fingers underneath here and then you're able to kind of pop it open. Um, these corners one, you do want to be careful so you don't end up bending them. Um, and then you can kind of move on to this side. Like I said, they are plastic, so I just try to be careful. Um, and there you go. So once this one's opened, I'll open a second one just because it's easier. I try to just go and open all of them at once um, rather than opening one, putting the foundation in there, opening the second one. Um, I don't necessarily enjoy opening, opening them, so I just wanna get it over and done with. Um, sometimes you'll notice that one doesn't always come out. It's kinda of just stuck in there, so you wanna be careful not to accidentally snap it off. It's like this little tiny, this little tiny post don't want to snap that puppy off. So these frames that I get here are the plastic apame frames and they do not make, these are for the deep supers, they do not make for the medium supers yet at least. Um, so anyways, just a basic overview. Um, this is this little lip here. That's where it sits in your box. So this is the top part. This is the bottom. Um, so basically, you just get this open and then this is my plastic foundation triple coated with wax i use premier triple wax foundations absolutely love them just kind of center it there so i just make sure that it's centered like that in the corner and then this other corner here and then this corner. So make sure that it's nice and centered here and then you can tell that one part is the top that has this lip and then the other part is the bottom here. So the top part is a little thicker and then the bottom one isn't as wide. So basically you just set it here and I will be sure to snap them into place. Um, on some of these, don't worry about it, but you will have this gap. Do you see that? It's totally fine. Um, I have tried every which way to try and get these to close all the way, and it's impossible. It's just these center ones don't necessarily snap in place like the corner ones do. Um, and if they don't like it, the bees will close it up. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So I really love these frames and the fact that I can take out the foundations if I want to, or if I want to make cut comb honey, then I can just simply put the frame in here like this, and then they draw it out on these three sections here. So that's really nice. I actually have some empty frames in a couple of my hives right now. So I'm super stoked about that. That's really all there is to it. Um, these frames do seem to be pretty sturdy. So I do like that it's like this kind of hard plastic and they don't necessarily feel flimsy either. So that's a good thing. But usually I'll just uh, put the TV on, listen to something as I'm doing this. And before you know it, you're all done. Also, I like to um, 
I have the stacks of supers in my office and um, whenever I have some spare time, I will just go and open any empty frames that I have and just start filling them in with my foundations so that when I do need them, they are already ready to go, already have their foundations in them. Um, I haven't yet decided which foundation color I like for, for my honey supers. I have the yellow on and the white um, foundations on right now, so we shall see. But I definitely like to buy a mix and then go from there and see what I like. I think the best part of doing these is smelling these foundations. Like, oh my goodness, the smell is just incredible. I remember when I got my first shipment of 100 or so foundations, I, as soon as I opened the box, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is literally a scent from heaven. And anyone and everyone that would come over, I would make them, I wouldn't make them. I would have them close their eyes and I would ask them to guess the scent. And I don't think anyone ever guessed the scent of honey um, or anything of that, or anything related to that. Um, but they all were just amazed at how good that these foundations smell. So, in my couple of minutes of babbling, um, I have gone through almost 10 frames here. So, I need to order some more black foundations, actually. I like to have extras on hand, um, just because, you never know. And I, if I do need something, I don't wanna have to wait a week of ordering it and waiting for it to be shipped. So I just like to have extras of everything. As you saw, it's a pretty super easy process. However, my very first time I tried to install these, um, some of them were just really tight and I was just scared because I thought I was going to crack or break these plastic frames. And um, so now you know that they do come apart and now you know the easiest way to open them without cracking or breaking them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and always remember to be your authentic self. Bye guys.